Hey, everybody. Good evening. It's, uh, we just got past Christmas, and now I know we are all excited for New Year's Day. We're going to say goodbye 2020 and bring it on 2021. No, not bring it on. Oh, yeah, we don't say bring it on. So we're looking forward, excited about 2021. <clears throat> and I know everybody is, and I was thinking about this, and then I was thinking... There's nothing magic about dropping zero and adding a one. You know, if we're going to make 2021 what we all hope for it to be, that's not 2020, then um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be up to us to make it happen. So I just kept thinking and thinking, it's like, well, how will that be? What will I need to do to make sure that 2021 is nothing like 2020? And then... I realized that <clears throat> that we can do it is the thing that we we can change it if we want to that I look around and it's just like right now I'm you know the whole world is a mess and you know even our country is a mess and and I look at all the people and all of my friends and you know kind of scroll around a little bit with a I've got a thousand friends on Facebook and oh, I've got a thousand friends. I didn't mean it like that. In fact, I'm not even finished with it. Don't interrupt me like that. I'm saying I've got a thousand friends as I, and I look around in there and I see like a thousand different camps of people, you know, all of us, we just like, we just dig in, we dig us a trench and we say, this is how I am. This is what I'm going to do. And these are my friends and uh, we're hundred percent right. You're hundred percent wrong. And then we just end up just being mad at these people or these people or against these people. And, and mean. Mean oh, to each just, other. Yeah, absolutely. It ends up being, you know, just mean. It's like this fight going on. And if we don't want 2021 to be like 2020, then we have to fix that. And it's going to take some effort. It's going to take some softening of people's hearts and just, you know, trying to reach out and fix some of this stuff. But I know that we can do it. And, you know, I talk all the time about, you know, I want to change the world. Well, we could change it tomorrow if we all thought about everything that we say and do and, and put it to a little test, whether or not that's healing and bringing people together or if it's just making it worse. If we all decide, you know what, I did fine, you know, I'll just do it again, you know, next year, then 2021 will just be the same as, as 2020, and I don't want that. And I know... Nobody wants that, so I just hope we can all try, even if it means being different. And that's it will take that to be different. So let's think about that a little bit. I hope everybody will and and um, kind of look within ourselves, do some introspection, decide how are we going to do that. What do we each of us need to do differently next year? But, to change things. But that's key, what you said, introspection. And I don't know that everybody is is able to do that. I mean, to be able to look at, okay, what did I do this past year to make things better or to make things worse and to be able to change it. And, and I mean, that's what we need to do. Just like you said, it's, it's introspection and, and figuring out what we can do different next year or tomorrow or today than what we did this year. When I was a kid, mom, my mom told me one time, she kind of tried to teach me introspection. It took a long time, like maybe about 40 years for it really to sink in. But she said, Raj, tomorrow you're supposed to be better than you were today. It's like, okay, you know, better at baseball or, you know. And she said it a few times, and, and I realized now what she meant was, you know, take a look at how you were today and what would you do differently and how you're going to do it tomorrow and you're going to be better. Mm -hmm. So... Good advice from my mom. <clears throat> so I want to talk about one other thing before we play some music. And so what do I talk about? We don't hardly leave the house. We don't go anywhere. We don't hardly do anything. Mm -hmm. So what I got to talk about? Yeah, my health. <clears throat> so I tell you, man, it's been a rough week. You know, it's... Uh, week. <laughs> yeah. I can't hardly get over something and then two more things happen and i don't go into any detail but it's just been rough this 
the past week, you know, I got a blood pressure thing going on now that I never had and we can't seem to get that under control. You know, I got some liver issues, which means I can't take these medicines. And, and uh, so it's been another challenge on top of the other challenges. And it gets me. It does. I try, but it, I end up just feeling sorry for myself. You know, I end up and just here I am. The world just wants to nail me to this cross and just and this make me miserable. The whole world, everything it just seems to be against me. You know, woe is me. Woe is me. You know, I end up up there just, I can't do anything but complain. That's all I got. I just get on top of this mountain of woe. And that's not a place to be. And I try. And, uh, you know, but it's hard. And we're, we're going to play a song in a minute that we picked because it's got this line in it. And I heard this song a long time ago. And when I heard that line, I had to stop. I'm like, let me think about that for a minute. And once I thought it through and what that meant, I thought, man, that's talking to me. And this was in good times when I thought that. It was nothing like I'm dealing with now or all of us are dealing with now, you know, with just the mess of this year. And the line goes like this. this I'm going to paraphrase it. You'll hear it. But it said, this is what I got out of it was, Raj, get down off your cross. Quit all your whining and complaining. Come up here and bring the cross. We can use the wood. We'll make something good out of it. You know, all that bad stuff. We're going to bring that up here. And uh, and we'll make some, we'll make a house. And we'll do something good out of it. And, and uh, an even deeper meaning than that is, hey, Raj, get down off of there and come up here. And bring that cross. That cross represents the, the, all your whining and stuff. That, and all this bad stuff that's happened to you. Okay. That's the stuff we can use right there. Because all of that stuff. That is your story. That is your testimony. That's what you can bring and we can use. And so once I really thought about it. I was like man. I just need to do that. Every day I end up. You know up here. Woe is me. Woe is me. I just try to remember. All of that stuff. Somehow or another, try to figure out how to turn that around, take my experience, and and use it for something that somehow or another will, you know, make some kind of positive impact in this world and be helpful to somebody. But it does no good to sit up there just whining about it and just feeling sorry for myself. And <clears throat> and so um, <clears throat> you'll hear that line in this song as I try to sing it, and I'm going to sing it. And uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> trust me it's not a good day for me to be singing <clears throat> but I tried it and Rhonda's like oh no yeah go ahead and sing it. it yeah that sounds great so I did not do that yes you did no I didn't I would tell you if you sound awful sure you I know that out of the corner of my eye no <laughs> you know I'm honest with you so I'm going to try to sing it and and maybe by the time we get through the chorus a couple times the last time maybe you can sing it with us it's a good song um and, but I, as we, before we sing this, I just want to reach everybody. You know, it's called Come On Up To The House. So all, everybody out there and all these different groups, you know, people over here, my friends, oh, just sit your Bibles down for a minute. Come up here. People over here, sit your protest sign down for a minute. Come on up to the house. People over here, turn off that 24-7 news that just makes you crazy. Turn it off and come on up to the house. That's my invitation. Well, the moon is broken and the sky is cracked. Come on up to the house. The only thing you see is all that you lack. Come on up to the house. When all your crying won't do no good, come on up to the house. Come down off. 
Fix your eyes on 
today I had fun I felt good singing these songs and it was good it was good and just remember that we can only change what we do we can't change what anybody else does but we can be an influence yep. and um, I hope that we're all able to do some introspection over the next year and help make a change in how the world acts and reacts to the things that we do we love you guys. Yep. Let's open our hearts. Let's change the world. See you next Sunday. See you next Sunday.